some crispy golden nuggets. I can't wait. Wait, what? What the heck is this? The coolest reveal. The funniest stuff. Nailing the heck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Cole's Toy Show Action Side of Figure Review. I am your host, Sanchez Cole. This is the big boss man here, and I'm sitting beside myself today because Erwin R. Scheister, JR, and Cody decide to have a day off for today, and we probably won't be seeing them until later on uh, next week or so for the KTS Wrestling Hall of Fame 2019. I decided to come backstage again just by myself today because I haven't been this part of KTS Wrestling in like uh, almost two years. Last time I've been here was probably when Cody had suffered a heart attack and of course like it was like kind of awful but hey at least he had lived though like he survived through one whole century and he's still alive today and I'm quite amazed by that. I just honestly can't believe that he would survive this long to see KTS Wrestling throughout its uh, third year of celebration for the Universal Days. And I honestly gotta admit though, it's just awesome. Oh my gosh. I gotta say though, like being part of KTS Wrestling made me feel like it's home. Like... There's no way I'm leaving, and I'm glad to be part of it, and of course, uh, I'm just glad to be, like, happy with the people I work with, like, Guy R.S., J.R., Cody, Vince McMahon, his son Shane, his daughter Stephanie, and of course, Triple H, Eric Bischoff, and <laughs> it's like, we just have an awesome crew, and recently we just fired Andrew Rashad because he was acting like an ass on KTS Wrestling for... Being rude to people, of course, we obviously know that, and he was replaced by Howard Finkel, who we will see on April 2nd for the KTS Wrestling Hall of Fame. Be sure to stay tuned for that, and let's see what we could do today, and oh my gosh, Andrew's coming, we better hide or else he will see us, because I do not want to be spot, but that's okay though, like I already said, like... I'm prepared to, like, get rid of him. I just don't understand why he keeps coming back. It's just stupid. It's it's practically absurd, to be honest with you. It's just... Why? Like, seriously, we fired your ass last week. There's no point of you coming back. Like, you just have to be dumber than anything to do that. Can I just fucking... Aha! Cool. But for personal reasons like my family, work, and and um, me. Yeah! <laughs> Nail the heck out of it, baby. I gotta say though, that was kind of amazing. And let's check to see what he is. Yeah, as JR would say, By God, he's gotta be dead! Ah, <sighs> my goodness. At least we finally got rid of that ass, so... I just can't believe we would get rid of him, and I just sure hope he doesn't come back ever again. The next time he comes back, he is going straight down the trash. Excluding his microphone, though, because we need that microphone, of course, because we need, like, a lot of microphones for KTS Wrestling, and we would also want you to please like this video leave a comment and subscribe for more nail the heck out of it from my elbow to the middle of my forearm because i was because i wasn't born with a actual i wasn't born with a full arm i was born with like a partial arm not a partial arm with a full arm, but except some of it was missing. And so, like, it wasn't really bothering me until, like, a couple weeks ago. So they had to put in some weird, like, cybernetic garbage in uh, my arm so that it will function as a proper arm. Because my arm started to fail. A month ago? 
Yeah, a month ago to three and a half weeks ago. So I got my surgery done three and a half weeks ago when it started when it started to fail, and now my arm is really fucking veiny. Holy crap! I didn't even know how much veins I have on this arm. But be on the lookout for a new video, and I will see you guys in another day.